this is question number 36 objective solved example uh, complex number now in this question these are given as nth roots of unity 1 z1 z2 z3 goes on till zn minus 1 are nth roots of unity and we are supposed to find the value of this expression right now these are nth roots of unity means all these n values are roots of this equation x to the power n minus 1 equal to 0 or you can take z to the power n minus 1 equal to 0 right this is how we find nth roots of unity we make this equation nth roots of unity means a value whose nth power is 1 right the number if you take nth power of that number then it becomes 1 is nth root of unity so nth root of unity would be would satisfy this would be root of this equation so if we solve this equation we'll get all nth roots of unity and there'll be any number n nth roots of unity now so all these are n nth n n roots of this unity now this is a very important concept that you have that equation is given to you like you would have done this in quadratic equation is given to you say uh, like roots are given to you say alpha and beta this is an equation roots are alpha and beta so we can express this in factorized form like this and this factorized form is an identity in x because this expression is this expression and this expression are identical only the way you have expressed it yeah, this is non this, this is non factorized form and this is factorized form something similar to this this is non factorized form and this is factorized form right so so this is an identity in x means you can replace any value of x in this and it will satisfy any value of x will satisfy so something same we are going to use here and it's very important concept so we'll make identity out of an equation like this z minus 1 z minus z1 z minus z2 goes on till z minus zn minus 1 so it's an identity where in which we can replace any value of z now if we replace now if you just see this expression we are supposed to find value of this expression right and if you look at this part here from this point to this point to find the value of this expression we need to replace z equal to 1 z equal to 1 should be replaced in this part to get the value of this expression now if I replace z equal to 1 in this identity which I am allowed to do I get 0 equal to 0 so this identity like we can replace z equal to 1 in this identity but the net net result is 0 equal to 0 right but we want to find the value of this so what we do we we factorize this you know we have this formula x to the power n minus y to the power n can be factorized as x minus 1 then we have x to the power n minus 1 y to the power 0 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 1 keep on decreasing the powers of x n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 goes on and increase the power of y 0 1 2 3 4 goes on so last time would be when power of x becomes 0 and power of y becomes n minus 1 right so if you apply this formula here we get z to the power n minus 1 equals to z minus 1 into z to the power n minus 1 1 to the power 0 so no contribution from second term then z to the power n minus 2 y 1 to the power 1 second term is 1 goes on till z to the power 0 now we replace this formula here if you replace this formula here you can see z minus 1 will cancel out with z minus 1 right so I get this equal to this fine so let, let me write it z to the power n minus 1 plus z to the power n minus 2 goes on till 1 and this is after cancelling z minus 1 factor on both sides now it's a new identity I can replace any value of z in this it's an uh, identity in itself it's an independent identity so I can replace any any value of x here now put x equal to z equal to any value of z sorry put z equal to 1 so these are n terms from z equal to 0 to z equal to z, z, z to the power 0 to z to the power n minus 1 so if i replace z equal to 1 this will become n 
एंड दिस बिकम्स वन माइनस जेड वन वन माइनस जेड टू कोज ऑन टिल वन माइनस जेड एन माइनस वन राइट सो वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज एन नाउ देर इज ए कन्फ्यूजन दैट कम्स दैट यूर कैंसिलिंग अ फैक्टर जेड माइनस वन हेयर राइट एंड देन यू आर सेंग जेड इक्वल टू वन सी दिस It, this is fine. There's no problem. It's an identity. So, for example, if you have this identity, you cancel that that factor, right? And you have a new identity. In this new identity, you are allowed to apply. You are allowed to replace x equal to zero. There's no problem. It becomes one equal to one, so, right? So, in in an identity, if you're cancelling a factor. and that factor has a zero for some value of x still you can replace that value of x in the new identity in the simplified identity so that's not a problem